How often do we let ourselves really move the way it feels when we know there are eyes on us? How does the pressure of a gaze contort what you show? How does the pressure transform the essence of you into what you show, how you express what you feel and who you are? What relationship have you built with the pressure of a gaze? Have you learned how to hold purity of yourself and reverence in the face of another? Have you experienced the light of courage in your heart that says, I will survive even when it feels like a death sentence to actually reveal yourself? How easy is it to hide behind a performance or an act like eyes behind a curtain peering through to see if it's safe as your body just keeps moving almost on autopilot peering at the person or the people in front of you to gauge their reaction, to gauge what you show. What about hiding behind anonymity? It's like if we don't know the person Somehow it's safer to be yourself, safer to be the full raw self. But once that person sees you and knows you to your heart, somehow it becomes harder with the familiarity of like, yeah, you will remember this tomorrow. Yeah, there'll be something to say about this tomorrow. Whereas sometimes there feels like there's more safety with a stranger But yet, is it safer with a stranger? Do they know the curves of your heart? Do they know what tickles your body, your spirit? Do they know you inside and out? Because that familiarity builds trust. And yet, somehow that can seem like the scariest place to be familiar seen known explored that person has seen you now and what then what comes next more love or more heartbreak. That is the risk we take. And it's a risk worth taking because without that, everyone stays a stranger. And what we want most is closeness, love, full expression, our full selves to be seen, lived and felt and shared. So 
so when all eyes are on you. How will you move? How will you be? As you and me becomes we. Registration is now open for Living Steps 2022.